Amelia and Sila. A small woman with messy brown hair winces in pain. Uttering a stream of curses through clenched teeth, she is pinned to the ground by a couple of weighty boulders. Hey, hey, stay with me. You actually got pretty lucky. You fell down into a black hole. But at least you're not on your own. You've got a great companion. Everything's going to be just fine. Tell me something. Can you feel your legs? The young woman in nice armor studies the rock intently, clearly trying to work out how to move them. I feel them all right. When say no to a little less feeling in them. My ankle's killing me, but my back seems to still be in one piece. My head, too. That's all that matters. Now, Good. we're going to... Hey! Fancy meeting you down here. You're the one that Terendal have healed today, right? You aren't injured, are you? Will you help me get her out from under the boulders? Spotting you, the knight reaches for her sheathed weapon, but after scrutinizing your face momentarily, she raises her hand in greeting. Mm -hmm. Knowledge. We don't have we don't have to rely on brute strength for this. I'll try to find something to use as a lever. And uh I have plus four DC twelve. Succeeded. You quickly find some suitable sticks and you free the wounded woman from the rubble without even breaking the sweat. Look at you. It's good to meet someone who uses brains first and brawn second. Oh, damn it all. I think it's broken. Oh well, I've had worse. I'll just make myself a splint out of something. Thanks for the help. I wouldn't have lasted long on my own stuck under there. I'm Anevia Tiravade, of the Eagle Watch. I was overseeing security at the Festival Square. I thought maybe spies or demon worshippers might have something nasty planned. What actually happened, though? Now that, I did not see coming. I don't think anyone could have been prepared for that. Well, I'm Sila, paladin by the grace of Iomade. I crossed the whole continent to come to Mendeb and fight demons. And, well, I've been fighting for a while now. I don't even want to think what might be happening up there in the city. Canabres has lost the protection of Terendalev, and of the Wardstone too, looks like. It's a relic without equal. It was placed here personally by Iomade's herald, with the goddess's blessing. I really wanted to go see it, to pray before it. But there's no point worrying about a stone when there are people dying in the streets. Sila expression darkens. Yeah, things are looking grim enough, but don't lose heart. Wardstone or no, dragon or no, Canabres will never give in. Simple as. Well, we've introduced ourselves. What about you? Wardstone. The Wardstones are a chain of powerful artifacts, keeping the world realm's expansion at bay. The first and greatest in the chain was erected in the city of Canabres by the hand of the inheritor himself, a golden way, a gold. A golden winged angel sent by the goddess Iomade. Uh, I'm a traveler and I just wound up here by chance. Call me superstitious if you want, or maybe cynical, but I just don't believe in chance or coincidences. <laughs> How many stories around the tavern table have started with those very words? Right enough. I have this habit, see, anytime somebody starts yakking about blind chance, it always turns out that the thing was as far from a quirk of fate as you could want. Sorry, don't take it personal, like. Uh, now then, I'll hobble my way out of here somehow. The city ain't far, only 30 paces or so. That's if you're going straight up, of course. I'm afraid we're gonna have to go the long way round. To summarize, there are three of us, with five working legs, three pairs of decent hands, two clear heads, and one made of wood. <laughs> That's mine. Underground monsters, beware! 
Anevia, you stay behind us. You're in no fit state to fight. If we do come up against anything, the two of us will try to manage on our own first. Well, onward! May the good deities lead us back to the open sky soon. Party. No and fighting defensively. Alright. Take that off. One smite evil. Shield of faith. Ahead. Look, Horan put all the confiscated weapons in this chest. Take a look. Maybe your thing survived the fall. Containers. Loot. So we have. I thought I equipped the light crossbow. Which is one to eight plus four. Is the longbow better? One to eh. one eight plus four critical times three critical times two nineteen twenty. Hmm. Hmm. Same attack and damage. Mm, we'll do the. Wait, what's the range? Fifty feet. Oh, it's the same. Um, longbow for now. Ooh, cold iron hand axe. She is gonna be mo all right steady on light two to seven we'll stick with this till we get more party members she'll be the tank and she'll be range can you do a Hmm. Book of resistance. Saving throws. Our path leads on. Trying to lay a scale. The fine apparel of this young half elf woman is torn and stained with blood, dust, and dirt. However, she holds herself with such dignity that you would have been forgiven for thinking you were at a high society party and not in the dank catacombs under the city. Her fingers grip her rapier hilt with confidence, ready to draw in at a moment's notice. At her feet lies a dead body, so mutilated that at, a fir at first glance it's hard, it's hard to tell if it's, if it's animal or human. Friend. We're, we're not demons or cultists. Don't poke my eye out with that thing, all right? We fell down here during the attack. I'm Sila, that's Anevia, and this is our new friend. We're looking for a way back to the surface. Really? I'm so ever glad to hear it. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Camellia. I was also in the square when... when... I can scarcely believe it. How did all those demons get into the city? I saw it. Naively, it now seems, that the Wardstone protected us from attack. And Terendalev, I can't wrap my head around it. 
The girl relaxes slightly, but she keeps her hand on her sheathed weapon. Her self-control falters, falters for a moment, and you glimpse the fear behind her mask of perfect placidity. She licks her lips nervously. Mm, the over dead body, full of blood. And I'm pretty sure you didn't help during the demon army, so tell me about yourself. Who am I? Just an ordinary citizen who decided to take a stroll through the square on the day of the festival. But that's not what you wish to know, is it? You most likely wish to know whether I'll be a burden should you ask me to join your group. No need to worry about that. I can assure you that I am skilled with a rapier. And I also possess some knowledge of magic. She touches the polished snake skull amulet that, that hangs around her neck. What happened to this poor man? Who is he? I don't know. He must have been in the square when disaster struck. I tried to revive him, but he was already dead, sadly. He didn't get these wounds from the fall. Be on your guard. Whatever killed him likely hasn't gone far. Celo's eyes warily scans the area. I think I know him. His name's Aravashniel, the egghead from the library. He was a good lad, even if he was kind of stuck up. May his soul rest in peace. Not many could withstand a strike from the demon lord, not even the Turandalev. This, since I, from our lot of training, this is so weird to ask now. Let's say now. Them. We're fortunate to be alive, albeit underground. Daskari himself has come to Canabras. There's no mistaking that ugly mug. Turandalev tried to fight him, but what could she do against a near deity? Even the Wardstone was no help. Our city used to be protected by powerful forces, but now? <sighs> Anivia shakes her head. Anivia shakes her head. We've seen how powerless they truly are. Henceforth, we shall have no one but ourselves to rely on, I suppose. Do you want to join us? Certainly. Survivors should stick together. It's only sensible. Who knows what else could be prowling about in these caves? We need to keep moving. There must be a way back to the surface somewhere around here. That's right. It would be the height of foolishness to survive a demon attack only to perish under a pile of rubble. Let's see if this poor bloke has anything useful on him. Not to sound like a heartless brigand or nothing, but we kind of need all the supplies we can get right now. <sighs> well? Melia... Cure light one. This will go here. Turn that off. Gold touch. Wait. <laughs> she will never do by unless it's she's on the verge of death, right? Defensively. Can't add the ghost touch properly to a weapon. What is it to? Shift then right click. This consumes one point of enchantment moment. Granted to this weapon, the ghost touch weapon does damage against incorporeal. Okay. So this is situational. This is why it's good to look at the abilities as soon as you get someone or in certain level up um options you make because everything won't go on here and some are really useful i think all she yeah and together we stand okay oh wait but what is she Camellia undetected alignment, half elf spirit hummet, hunter shaman. Uh, 
wait. Master dagger. There are two main ways to light. Light spell. Ever burning torch. She's in the front, so. She has an ever burning torch. Rely on me. Oh, I always forget about this. Turn base. This is a turn base playthrough. They will break against our resolve. What is this? Stabilize. Oh, um, just a little off from what she would do. So here. Sila charge. Oh, there's the second one. Critical. Here. Another scale. I can do the can I move and we shall overcome this Mm-hmm. 
and start off with Do not hold back. Save the last one for me. Miss. What is going on? is the I'm trying to get it to come forward Braces of armor. Noise. She has one. You do not have. Here are the things. Are you gonna? I'll give you two. And inflict light wound. Nineteen, twenty-two, seventeen. Is this this? What does this? This actually brings me down. So back to the lucky. Can I give this to Charge. Ah. 
more damage. You are today's <laughs> sacrifice. Flame Tongue Rainbow Quark. What is this? Battle spirit. Allies within. Yes. Weapon enhancement. Here. Mm. AC 15. Move action. And attack. No glory without risk. I I'll cut you wide open. Ha! Miss. Back rolls and damage rolls. Nothing easy. Miss. Thank God. Come um, up a little. Strike as one. Critical. And don't want to use another pot potion, so back to full.
No, I can't just walk away. It's got to be here somewhere. You struggle to make out the man's features in the gloom. As he step as soon as he steps into the circle of light, however, you realize that you have never encountered a creature like this before. The stranger looks like the work of a of a vivisectionist who attempted to stitch together a lizard and a man. When do I the man notices you and freezes. The curling horn protruding from his head casts a malevolent, malevolent shadow on the cave wall. It would have been cool if we would have actually been able to see like a shadow like right here somewhere. Her shadow is cool though. Len, did you find it? Who is that? It is kind of regular. The woman looks just as strange as her companion, like a cross between a cat and a spider. When she catches sight of you, she immediately drops into a fight stance. Her movement revealed the great, the lethal grace of a wild predator. The do-gooders here to save our mongrel souls, no doubt. Wait, they might know what's going on up there. Demons are laying waste to Canabras. If things are as bad as you say, then we all have to hurry. Lan's expression hardens. You didn't come from the direction of the shield maze. Damn it. I couldn't care less about what's happening on the surface, but the maze. I realize that you guys have your own troubles, but we need to be in Canabras. People are dying up there. Please, show us the way out. I would ask this, but I'm a tiefling. I should know what a tiefling looks like and so that just if it didn't have the tieflings question i would click it but no what is this place this is the hall where we remember the glory of our forebears sorry about the mess uh, it doesn't usually look like this trust me sometimes we even wipe the dust off the exhibits this is where the relics of the first crusaders are displayed our lives are short our glories are quickly forgotten. This place helps us to remember that we are just as worthy as anyone else. And that our lives are not lived in vain. Oh, the first crusaders? You've been down here that long? That's crazy. What are you doing here? That's none of your bit. We're looking for a holy sword. It was here, in the center, sticking out of a rock. The sooner we find it, the better. Some kids from our tribe took off for the shield maze. They figured it had collapsed, and now it's their time to go up to the surface, like all the legends foretold. Except they don't have a clue what's waiting for them up there. They're not fighters. And Sul, the chief of our tribe, is dead set against it. He says that now isn't the time for the underground crusaders to take up arms. If we get the Holy Sword, we might be able to change the Chief's mind. It's a fool's errand. None of us will be able to hold the sword, let alone use it to save anyone. It's not an ordinary weapon. It's made from righteous heavenly flame and will burn anyone who touches it. Do you think you're special, Lan? I'll pick it up with my teeth and tie it to my hand if I have to. It doesn't matter. An angel's sword and a troop of stalwart mongrels will be able to work a minor miracle. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, you're still here, Wendu, which means that deep down, you know it's possible. Maze? Does it really lead to the surface? Yes. There are other ways up. But they are far from here, and after the earthquakes, there's a good chance they've collapsed. But the maze... There's a legend among our people that when the walls of the maze fall, that will be a signal for us, the underground crusaders, that the time has come to go up to the surface and fight the demons in the final confrontation. Until then, the people say the maze is shielding us from taking rash actions. I'm the only one in our whole tribe to have been in the maze. And even I don't know if it's true. But the further I went in the maze, the fresher the air became. 
That means that it really must lead to the surface. When the ceiling and walls started shaking, the young ones in our tribe lost their heads. They figured the maze was going to collapse, so it was time to go up to the surface. They grabbed whatever weapons were on hand and ran off toward the maze. They think the maze is no longer a danger to them. They've been listening to Wendwog too much. His eyes are filled with genuine concern. Don't try to blame this on me. Yes, I told them that our people are capable of making our way through the maze. In the future. But I always told them to wait until I had made a map of all the maze's dangers. I warned them a hundred times. But it was no use. My words just went in one ear and out the other. A sword of holy flame? How did it wind up down here? It came here with its owner a long time ago. 50,000 gongs to be precise. 70 years ago in Uplander time. If 50,000 gongs converts to 70 years, I wonder how many is a day. 50,000 gongs ago, our forebears found a dead angel here, along with the bodies of his comrades. The tribe gave them a dignified burial, and they were laid to rest with their weapons. But the flaming angelic sword was stuck in a rock, and no one was able to pull it out. It burned to the touch, like real fire. So the rock was placed over the angel's grave. It should be here somewhere. Angel. Angels are a group of altruistic celestials native to the three upper planes, Nirvana, Heaven, and Elysium. They represent all the multiple interpretations of goodness. The eldest angels were the one were ones of the first creations of the primordial deities of good, making them one of the oldest races in the great beyond and were trained as celestial guardians and servants from birth. Most serve their creators to this day. Most angels in modern times come from ascended good moral soul rather than, rather than divine, direct divine creation. Sometimes these souls even retain aspects of their mortal forms. Maybe the angel will dig himself out and find the sword for us. That might be our best shot in this chaos. Lan! Watch your tongue. We'll find the sword faster if we work together. I can help. Thanks. An extra pair of eyes can only help. The sword will be easy enough to spot. It looks, uh, swordy. Help us, and in return, we'll get you out of here. Land's expression brightens. <laughs> now we're talking. Let's get to work. It's a good thing we all bumped into each other, isn't it? What? You want to find the sword quickly so the underground monsters bring you back to the surface? So be it. Hidden objects, perception, devoured by darkness. Let's see. 